मरम छात्र छात्री आशा करूँ तुम लोग आटे भले आसा आज आम इंगराजी पाठर तीन नम्बर जी पाठ आज ध्यानचंद पाठ तो तुम लोग मैं रिडिंग दु विचार ध्यानचंद भारत एगी विख्यात हकी खेल जिये निजर हकर क्रीड़ा नैपुण्यत समग्र विश्वक मोहित कर रख पारे और मैं तुम लोग आज पाठ तो मैं तुम लोग रिडिंग दु विचार आशा करूँ तुम लोग रिडिंग पढ़ि तुम लोग पाठर सहित मिला धुनिया सक्षम हवा हेयर इज अ स्टोरी एबाउट ध्यानचंद वान अफ द ग्रेटेस्ट हकी प्लेयार्स द वर्ल्ड हेज ध्यानचंद वाज वान अफ द इमिनेंट इंडियन स्पोर्ट्स पार्सनेलिटीज हू एचिव वर्ल्ड फेम ध्यानचंद एटेन इंटरनेशनेल स्टेचर इन द फिल्ड अफ हकी and is counted among the greatest sports legends it is said that what pele is to football and mohammad ali is to boxing dhyansan is to hockey he remains the greatest hockey player of all time till the arrival of dhyansan the europeans and the americans were the leading masters of the game Dhyansan shocked the Europeans and the Americans with his splendid performance in three Olympics. This great hockey player was born as Dhyan Singh on 29th August 1905 into a Rajput family in Allahabad. The turning point of his life came when he joined the British Indian Army at the age of 16. The army gave him the much needed opportunity and facilities to practice hockey. He preferred to do his practice sessions at night after his duty hours. He often waited for the moon to come out so that the visibility in the field improved. His practice sessions coincided with the rising of the moon and so Dhyan Singh came to be called Dhyan Chand by his fellow players. His coach also predicted that he would one day shine like the moon. He gave him the title Chand. Chand is a Hindi word for moon. A few years later in 1928 he led the Indian hockey team to win the first gold medal for India in Amsterdam. He won his second gold in the 1932 Olympics in Los Angeles. The last gold came to him in the 1936 Olympics in Berlin where he led the Indian team. He also owned the title of hockey personality of the century dear. Dhyansan was given the nicknames the wizard, the magician of hockey for his superb ball control. During his sporting career spanning 23 years from 1926 to 1949 He scored a total of 570 goals in 185 matches according to his autobiography titled Goal. The government of India awarded him the national honor of Padma Bhushan in 1956. He passed away at the age of 74 in Delhi on 3 December 1979. Very appropriately his birthday 29th August is celebrated as National Sports Day So eta tumaloke ki koriba e pat to dhuniya ge moi jene ke reading khini disu tar logot tumaloke milai milai poriba aru asha koru etu re tumaloke pat to poriboloi sokkhom hoba Thank you